What's going on guys? So I thought I would just give a tour of the new home theater. So I sold the old place I had that had the 818s and I have a new house and a new theater. So I guess I'll just give you kind of a rundown of what's it's all the same equipment mostly. Uh, you got the Epson uh, 4010, I think is what that is. It's been so long since I bought it. I believe it's, yeah, 4010. Yeah, so that's the Epson 4010 projector. Um, you still got your clips, Atmos modules. Uh, you have the AV rack now instead of the other thing I had. Uh, it's all the same equipment there. I think I may initially, I may eventually uh, switch out the amp, that Behringer, uh, that's running the subs to a, two crowns, 2502, I think is what they're called. So, I've got four uh, seat craft uh, chairs here going on. So these are pretty nice. I mean, they're actually really nice for the money. Really nice. So then you've got uh, diffusion and absorption panels going on right here. Um, same equipment except for the subs now. I have two GSG 21 inch Devastators that have the uh, Lavosi or however you pronounce it, the 21 inch subs they have. I think it's got the six inch, five or six inch voice coil in them. Uh, that's a Emotiva center channel. It's just a speaker stand um, for the center channel and that happened to work out like absolutely perfectly. Uh, I mounted a piece of three quarter MDF to the top of the stand. I'll get a better shot in a minute. You got the absorption and diffusion over there. Um, at most modules then you have let me get a better shot of this this is a 40 by 40 uh diffusion to diy that lighting is terrible it's hard to get this in here anyways y'all can see that took a while to build um i got a pretty good deal on that too 126 inch uh screen so I upgraded from the 96, 90? I can't remember what it was anyways. Um, yeah, so you can see how much room I had to spare. I'd say that worked out pretty good. Um, see, I painted the front black. See that and all that. That made probably one of the biggest differences in picture quality is having i came out four foot on the ceiling that's four foot right there came out four foot on the ceiling and just painted it with a matte black painted the whole back drop matte black all that but i will say the the backdrop that the screen was on was already black and it was it was not bad but when i painted the four foot strip across the ceiling black and that trim that was white, I painted it black. It made a gigantic difference. Uh, man, huge difference. I, I didn't realize ceilings made that big of a difference, but my gosh, they do. So anyways, um, so yeah. And this is a 13 by 35 foot room and it's actually a multi-purpose room. So you've got, uh, You've got like a TV for regular viewing here, and then you've got the theater, uh, and the sound is spectacular. Of course, this was all designed down to the inch uh, with one of my buddies, Stephen Smith. Um, he helped me on location of the seats, location of the Atmos modules, positioning of the subs all that kind of stuff so there it is enjoy